Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Pangea table lamp. This is the 272119 beautiful lamp. So, this is comprised of these laser cut bent planes that are welded together to make kind of a globe that's open on the ends. See on the sides there, you can go all the way through, closed on these sides. And just so you know, this is about 11 inches side to side, just, just so you know. You don't really see that in the dims that they talk about. Overall height on this is coming in at 27.3, and that's going to be including the giant finial that goes right on the top that's going to hold your shade. And then when they talk about 22 inches in diameter, that's really going to be the bottom of the shade itself, because it's widest point to widest point, and that's the shade right here. The top of this is 18 inches in diameter, and it's 10 inches up the slope. The shade is always going to be uh, natural white anna, which is a true white. It warms up when light comes through it, but it's a true white to begin with. And I think you kind of want that because there's so much design going on down here that you want something really neutral above it. Okay. Moving on, why don't we talk about a couple other things. On that pull-down menu, it's going to say choose your finish. So you have the finish for what's called the fixture. That's going to be the, the decorative part. It's going to be the shaft coming up. It's going to be the socket. And, and rare with Hubbardton Forge because usually this is kind of a dull gray, but this is going to be finished too, as well as this, your big uh, finial going at the top. And we'll might as well just put it on. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it kind of makes the design. I think this is really pretty. This is black ink, just so you know. And with black ink, you actually kind of like see little bits of silver on the edge because what black ink really is, they do the whole thing in sterling and then they put a, a very light uh, glossy black on it, but it's so thin that you can kind of see little edges here, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, going back to that finish thing, to pull down those finishes and, and finish for the fixture is going to be the first thing. And then the finish for the accent is going to be the base that it's on, and this is sterling in this case, just so you know. Uh, let's see, let's look on the bottom. So on the bottom you've got also, you've got a uh, nice felt, and on this fixture you're going to have a silver cord, just so you know. And these, these usually run about four to five feet overall. Uh, Underwriters Labs basically tells the lighting industry how long a cord can be just for safety. What can go into this is going to be pretty important too because you've got a medium base socket and I have a copy of one here and this is going to have a on off dimmer built into it so the little knob just goes like that you can hear it click. When you get this out of the box this is going to be in a little baggie and you basically take it you, and you'll kind of put it on and you use your thumb to push it on, your two thumbs actually, and put your fingers behind it. So you're going to be pushing it on kind of like that, and that's going to force it onto there so it can stay. As far as what you can put into it, as far as incandescent goes, you can go um, 60 watts for an incandescent. Now mind you, these are all what are called A19, and A19 is the same size light bulb we all grew up with. So this is the incandescent one, and fits in beautifully. There's a little bit of extra room there. I don't think this is going to be able to take a larger bulb just because there's just not the space up here to accommodate it. But, you know, 60 watts with incandescent, when you get into LEDs, and all three of these are different kinds of LEDs that I can find everywhere. My grocery store sells them, drug store, hardware store, they're just everywhere. <clears throat> and when you get into LEDs, there's no limit other than the bulb getting into this. So I know that I can find this bulb from Westinghouse at Walmart up to 150 watt equivalent. And I can also find it on Amazon the same way. So that means I can get a lot of light out of this if I really need to. It's really kind of up to what's going on inside the bulb, but an A19 is going to be the size that you are locked into. Um, the light coming out of the bulb I talk about in every video, the light coming out of LEDs. 2700 Kelvin that's going to be offered to you and that's going to be that super yellow light. Way on the other side of that when you go looking at bulbs they're going to offer you something called daylight and daylight sounds like it should be a, a nice warm light but it's not a nice warm light. Daylight is that bluish white light that you see on an overcast day or like in a convenience store or hospital waiting room that kind of thing. What we like to use in our showroom and actually I'm using these lights right above us is a warm white. It's also called soft white, and that's 3,000 Kelvin. So that's what we like to use. That actually mimics the uh, incandescent bulb we grew up with. So it's a nice warm glow. The other thing is when you're looking at these bulbs, doesn't matter where you go, a hardware store, online, grocery store, make sure it says dimmable. That's going to be pretty important. 
Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubbardton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubbardton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display, and including which finish, which shade, all of those things, and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's, it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces, and they're all the same size, and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.